NVIDIA and Apple are going to make a major announcement here today in Tokyo. And that major announcement is that we are announcing the next generation of graphics processors from NVIDIA that is a major, major industry first, and that is the GeForce 3. The GeForce 3 is the most advanced graphics chip ever. This thing's amazing. It's got 57 million transistors, and internally, for specialized graphics computations can get up to 76 gigaflops. This thing is amazing. And it is going to be available first on the Mac. We've been working very closely with NVIDIA to make sure that our stuff and their stuff works very well together. And we've developed a great relationship with them. And we are thrilled to have this today be the announcement of the GeForce 3 and the first demonstration of it. And to do that, I'd like to bring on stage David Kirk, the Chief Scientist from NVIDIA. Welcome. Thank you, Steve. So we got here today. Uh, we have a, a demonstration. Uh, are you going to introduce it, Steve? I'd love to introduce it. Um, have you seen Toy Story? Toy Story 2, maybe? Maybe A Bug's Life? These films are made by a wonderful company in Northern California called Pixar. <laughs> and it takes us years to make these films and image all graphics. Now the first film we ever made 50 years ago, the first film Pixar ever made was called Luxo Jr. And it was a landmark in computer graphics. We made it using a Cray supercomputer. And it took three hours for each frame to compute the graphics. Since there are 24 frames per second, that meant it took over 75 hours per second to compute the graphics for Luxo Jr. Well, we have something new today. Let's see it. Simon, you want to start it? So um, when you first look at it, this, this looks like the, the normal Luxo Jr. that you've seen. Um, but difference. With the power of the, the GeForce 3, you're able to actually interact with running demo. This is uh, NVIDIA's interpretation of Pixar's Luxo and Luxo Jr. characters. And uh, with the, the power of the GeForce 3, we're able to calculate all the lighting and shading in real time. GeForce 3's uh, programmable shading pipeline is able to do realistic lighting, realistic soft shadows. GeForce 3's uh, programmable Programmable geometry pipeline and hardware is able to do realistic and believable characters. You actually can, can do that the, the lamps have personality. Uh, and the opportunity here is that cinematic, uh, high quality, move style rendering can now be done in real time, interactively on, on the Mac. And we're very happy to have this on, on the Mac. Yeah, if, if you don't get this, this is rendering this in real time. This is not an animation loop, this is real time. And so, 15 years ago, what took us 75 hours a second is now being rendered in real time on the GeForce 3. It's incredible. All yours. We're about to ship Mac OS 10. And I'd like to show you something using the GeForce 3 and OpenGL running on Mac OS 10. And it's not, it's not a normal something. It's something by one of the legends in 3D computer graphics and gaming, John Carmack from id Software. And John today, welcome John. Thank you. John is going to give us worldwide first peek at something he's working on, running on Mac OS X and the GeForce 3. All right, what I've got here is a 
demonstration of our new in-developed gaming engine. And this shows lots of things that we can do with the power of the GeForce 3 in here. And all of this is actual real game code. There's no special tricks going on here. Everything is being done real time. So the big trick that we're getting now is the final unification of lighting and shadowing across all surfaces in a game. These games have had to do these hacks and tricks for years now where we do different things for characters and different things for environments and different things for lights that move versus lights that are static. And now we're able to do all of that the same way for everything. We're able to go ahead and apply all of these on every single pixel rather than every vertex or even every object like we used to do. I mean, things that we all wanted to to see, like, you know, every light casts its own highlight, every surface casts its shadow, just the way we would expect things to behave in the real world on there. We're able to do all of these really dramatic things with, you know, bringing out so much detail, projecting lights onto things, uh, you know, circular highlights on a per pixel basis, just wonderful things for games, where instead of having everything where this, this clear distinction between between things that you interact with and things that uh, that are static in the world, everything behaves the same now. And look at the detail that we're able to get. These are our game characters. These aren't special high-resolution models that we're using for something. Well, it wasn't too many years ago when we were lucky to have three tri triangles for a nose on our character. And now we've got, like, pores and bowls. And uh, oh, incidentally, we do do all of our animation in Maya also. So these animation loops we've done here were, uh, were created in Maya. So we're very excited about the quality we get here. I mean, this is like, these are the characters for our next game, some of them. And just the detail that you see in there, we're extremely excited here. And the large scale dynamic things, like we can move all over the place. We have highlights change on everything, shadows moving every which way. And we can bring cinematic drama to a lot of the things in the game now. We can do these extremely moody, intense, and scary things. And and we're not just limited to moving a couple things around inside uh, a static little game world. I, I mean, every every time I look at what our artists do with this new stuff, I'm just extremely pleased with like, what our next project is going to look like. I, it's a wonderful time to be in graphics. And GeForce 3 is just uh, the most exciting thing in years that we've had to work with. We're able to do just fabulous stuff with it. Mm. It's great. Mm. Awesome. So, we think the GeForce 3 is going to be a landmark in 3D computer graphics. And again, what you saw up there was rendered in real time. Amazing. We're going to offer the GeForce 3 on the Power Mac G4 line as a build to order option from customers or resellers. So, it's available across the line. We're going to ship it in late March at a cost of $600 or 68,000 yen.